get it plugged in here for you. New aspect of this therapy is that it marries an MRI scanner with the delivery of radiation. And so that is something brand new in the field of radiation oncology. It's a fascinating new development for us because we are now seeing not only with this high precision imaging with MRI, but we are allowing that MRI to be real-time imaging during the radiation. So as people are breathing and moving, and tumors of the lung and abdomen are moving, we can gate the radiation to travel with the tumor. If the tumor moves outside of a radiation-gated area, the machine will automatically stop tumor moves back into the beam, automatically goes on. So there are different ways to gate and focus. So essentially we're diminishing the amount of normal tissue that gets exposed. The red area here is the area where the radiation is going to be delivered. The green area is the computer system tracking his tumor within that portion of the liver. And when that enters into the red area, the treatment is automatically started. The goal is to ensure that the tumor is accurately uh, positioned within the radiation treatment field. Without having this or other techniques to control motion and control a patient's breathing, we would have to treat the entire area that the tumor might travel during, during a normal breathing cycle, which would create a much larger area of radiation treatment, a lot more treatment to the, the liver and risk normal organs moving within that treatment field during the treatment delivery. Now we can watch during the treatment and see things that we have never seen before because there's not only respiratory motion but there's movement of the GI tract or movement of structures that we didn't anticipate had dynamic movement and so we can be even more careful and more precise with the normal tissue uh, that gets exposed to radiation. The two major anticipations are can we s start to even push up cure rates by focusing more tightly and increasing the dose and equally important can we lower side effects by diminishing the amount of normal tissue in the beam.